All right, uh, just do your like normal thing. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Not your normal sex sounds, just your normal podcast sounds. My normal sex sounds are like, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your facial expressions, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mine just. She's like, she, I could just picture like she's like, you like that? He's like, He's like yeah. <laughs> My sex sounds are. I'm coming. <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> sure. So I haven't had sex in two years. <laughs> All right, Sam, do you want to do the intro? Hello, welcome to the Bull Slip. This is Booker, Dakota, and Soto. Welcome back, Sam. And yeah, thanks. I've been in Colombia for the past six months or longer. How well, long it has it been? Feels like longer. Uh, feels seven. Like... I think it's been about seven months. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, it yeah, has the been past a while. seven months, I've been in Col- <laughs> Colombia. I'll be back for at least a month, and then I might be going back to Colombia for uh, ever, even longer. No, not ever. Okay. I don't think I would want to stay there, but maybe another year. Wow. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's still a long time. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. Time's just an illusion, Soto. Sure. So, speaking of which, what yeah. are we talking about, Soto? Before we get, before we get, are into we topic. doing shoutouts still? No. no. No, we got. New <laughs> Dakota has a new thing. Uh, do I? <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> Uh, oh, you're. Oh no, you were just doing updates, like follow-ups to yeah. last previous episode. Yeah. So uh, this update to a previous episode is a formal apology. <laughs> okay. To Michael. Why? I'm sorry, Michael. But what? I compared him to Casey on that '70s show, and Michael said that was the worst character on that '70s show. Mm. And I didn't mean it as Casey as a person, but just his role in the scope of the show, because Eric Foreman left the show. Like Sam left our show, and then Casey came on. Like Michael came on to the show. So that's all I was saying. I wasn't comparing him to the character of Casey. Just yeah. How rude. Like like our <laughs> listeners, I I stopped watching that '70s show when he left. When Eric left? Yeah. I mean, I think we got more listeners after you left. I don't think so. Numbers don't lie. What are the numbers, Soto? <laughs> They have pretty much remained the same <laughs> when he left or when <laughs> he had he... no effect. No one cared if he left. <laughs> pretty much. Um, pretty much. All right. Be real. All right. Realistically, they did go down a little. Yeah. That's but right. um, but so far we're on a upward slant. Because I stopped, I stopped yeah. listening to us when I left. <laughs> yeah, they did go down, but um, yeah, recently they've been getting getting a little bit more. Like in the past three weeks, where I talked about aliens a lot, because I can keep doing that. <laughs> The, that didn't spike anything new. It just what uh, what what are the episodes that spiked? Like, in, let's do a year in review. What all right, are the generally ones the ones that, that spiked the most, like New Year's Eve episode kind of stuff. Generally, <clears throat> at least I'll just the generally the ones that get the most attention are like the ones with sex and the titles. But every now we and just then, got our title, Alien Sex. No, just, we've already done that. We're no Sex in the Title. This is the title of this episode. Sex in the title. Yep. Sex like episode fifty four. Sex. Wouldn't in the it title. have to be like? To sex till what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Sex in the title. Oh, sex in the city. Oh, no. you're putting the word oh, sex literally yes. in the middle of title. Yes, that's it. Yeah, mm. that was a bad joke. Mm. It was clever. You just are too drunk to get it. I don't think yet. he's drunk at all. <laughs> he's already downed one of them. Round two. <laughs> um, do we know what this episode is gonna be about? Well, I just thought we would, you know, since Sam's back, let's, I mean, I mean, have some follow-up here. Yeah. Besides that. Besides we can do that. I'm back. <laughs> I thought this was going to be our Christmas episode, so we'll have your Christmas gifts. I was no, not the, to this is not the Christmas episode. Fine. You don't have is to is have Is Tuesday going to be the Yes. Christmas? Tuesday. Yeah. The game is the Christmas episode. <laughs> oh, but, okay. How about this is the the okay the OG Christmas episode? Yeah. You guys can have your presents now, and then Efren and Michael will get Is it going to be like, uh, is the, the game going to be like... The Christmas story, and we're oh, each oh, by the way, these spirits. aren't your guys' presents, by the way. That's fine. Yeah, this is this is a, I mean, they're just wrapped up. These are shitty gifts. Okay, all right, <laughs> we'll, we'll I'll give you guys your Christmas presents now, okay, because yours is time sensitive, okay, 
And it's going to, like, you'll get an alert at 11 o'clock. What? And I can't cancel it. <laughs> what? Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. But you guys can you guys can get your presents now, and then I'll okay. give Michael and Efren their presents when we do okay. the nice. Christmas game. Sorry, guys. You're just coming late. Yeah, I, It's I, ready. If they were here tonight, they could have had them. I already gave you guys your presents. Yeah, Thanks, Sam. Thanks, man. Chocolate, yeah. What's a good From gift? Columbia. Yeah. I'll, I'll eat yeah, it. Yeah, I, I went to a, uh, it was like a indigenous artisanal fair, actually, Ooh. in Bogota, so... Uh, like that, I did most of my shopping for everyone. Like all my Christmas shopping are just gifts from Colombia. That's and, cool. And like a lot of them are like artisanal, uh, small products. I I think that's cooler than any gift probably you could have got here. So you haven't seen my gift yet. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. I mean, I can yeah. keep it. It's out of country. Yeah. As soon as the clock strikes eleven, a bunch of Indians are going to come in the room and hand make you in front of you all these products. <laughs> Spoil it. Mm-hmm. I have to send them back and get something else. <laughs> you got time. Yeah, I got so, yeah. 17 minutes. That's the overall. What Guys, any questions about Columbia? I was going to give you your presents. Okay. Oh, presents? Okay. All right. Yeah, your go presents. Get Where? We have to wait till. The fucking tree. We got to wait. Oh, till you have them under the tree? 11. Is there, Was there a tree? Yeah, there's a tree out there, man, on the patio. I don't see any presents. The, you guys got <laughs> stockings. I think oh, you got thanks, stockings. Thanks, man. All right, Christmas stockings. I'm gonna go get my present. Yeah, get it. Wait, so I want to get mine. That one's Sotos. That one's Sotos with the Yeti. Don't throw it. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, yours has the ham. Thanks, Scott. Yeah. The ham. Yeah, because it rhymes with Sam. It was the only ornament that seemed Sam-like. Okay, I don't want to. Oh, it's a happy ham. It's a happy ham. Sam got a happy ham ornament. Okay, I'm gonna. You go first, Soto. Okay. All right. So I'm I'm gonna hear I'm opening my Dakota's got a stock. Uh, got us a stocking with a present. He got me one wipe, Charlie's. <laughs> Hell yeah! I saw that on the bathroom uh, so the good. toilet so from good. a previous episode. If you didn't hear, uh, Dakota was talking about how he loves um, everything from Dollar Shave Club, and these actually smelled really nice. They're chamomile butt wipes, basically. Did we finally get a sponsor? Is that what the no. the true gift is? No. no. That'd be yeah. nice. But, you know, this is still just as good. <laughs> so yeah. my butt's going to smell great. No, I've actually wanted to try these really bad. So there you go. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome. All there's right. A, there's more in the stocking. What? There's more? There's yeah. more in the stocking. It's the gift that keeps on giving. For a little while. Oh. It feels. Oh, cool. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a Batman fidget spinner. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's, that's pretty sick. awesome. sick. That's so awesome. Right? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> is very amused. He just cackled. I love it. <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. That's actually the perfect gift for soda. That's really that's cool. Awesome. I actually, I've always like, I never bought a fidget spinner, and I was like, I, the thing about fidget spinners is you can't get them for yourself. I saw a Batman one, that's true. and I was not like in person online. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna spend money on that, but now I got it. There you go. Thanks, man. Yeah. Is that it? There's one other thing in there. What? Yeah. Oh, I feel it. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, cool. Yeah, so at 11 o'clock, you'll get an email saying that you got that gift. Dude, thanks so much. I've been really wanting to play it. You're welcome. I hope you didn't have to pay full price. (laughs) No. (laughs) No, that's awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, dude. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to play it. Don't buy it. I just bought it for you. (laughs) I did. You know what I was trying to say. I was going to buy it tonight. Buy it. Play it tonight. (laughs) Thanks, He's going to have like six copies. Don't play it tonight. You've got to edit this episode. Oh, yeah. i got to cut it first. All right. Tomorrow. Uh, thanks guys okay sam didn't do shit well, thank, I, yeah, thanks dakota <laughs> I, I was cheering you on like yeah o- open your sam ham gift all right the happy ham sam stocking yeah i i needed to find a way to identify the stocking so i was just like oh that ornament reminds me of soto that ornament s- rhymes with ham and sam i think this is great for sunflower seeds <laughs> it's on gift card for sunflower seeds dope <laughs> <laughs> I, on the amount part, it says enough. <laughs> <laughs> what well, does that? What does that mean? So I mean, I got Efren something on Steam. I got you something on Steam. I got. Uh-huh. I didn't get Michael something on Steam because I never see him playing. Mm-hmm. But I was like, well, I can't find Sam's like Amazon wish list because I just went off of wish lists. Oh, uh, okay. So I was like, well, Amazon gift card. You can. You don't have to get sunflower seeds. You get whatever you want. I I just imagine that. Uh, you bought the lowest value and then you did. Sp- spent it until there was just enough to no, buy something. No, this is just 25 bucks. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
That's t- a lot of sunflower seeds. That's yeah, like at least 25 bags, yeah. There's other stuff in there. All right, next is also uh, one wipe Charlie's. That's going to be good. Flushable moist wipes. Are they really flushable? Yeah. I would think that they would be... Yeah, you wipe your belt with them. Yeah, but... Uh, They're flushable. Wouldn't they clog the toilet? No. No. Mm-hmm. I use them every day, and my toilet's just fine. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, the wipes should be able to, nowadays they should be able to flush down the toilet but they still recommend you don't if you have bad like plumbing or septic or something in case of eye contact flush thoroughly with water <laughs> well, you don't want to put those on your eyeballs Sam. <laughs> I, mean, I'm not gonna... I can put it on his head <laughs> alright and I believe the final gift yes each got three magic number I don't know I also got a fidget spinner it was the most Colombian looking one. Dope, because it's has leaves. Leaves, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Let me see yours. You want to fight? Want to fight? <laughs> Fidget spinner. My <laughs> Batman bang what bangerang? <laughs> bangerang. <laughs> Battering would would destroy yours. No, that's cool. I would never. I was never gonna like actually buy these. I I've used them and they are like they're Kinda accurate. Chill. Yeah, they're they're like a just something to do while you're not thinking. Whatever. It's, yeah. It, they have like other things for them, but yeah, it's, they're very enjoyable in a weird way. Yeah, but uh, I awesome. would yeah, it's uh, it's something that I see lots of little kids have, mm-hmm. and so I would never have bought it for myself. But it's one of those things that you always actually kind of want. Yeah, it, you, you, it it's was something you can't buy for yourself, but if someone else gets it for you, you're like okay, yeah. thanks yeah. Dakota, you're welcome. And then I actually got great. four gifts because he likes me a little bit more than Soto. What? That's okay. Ah, Newcastle. Nice. Uh, that's a good gift. Yeah. There's more in the fridge. Ah, it's sick. Not a lot more. Just five more. And I also get to keep the ham, correct? No, I keep the ham. Oh. Well, thank you, Second Dakota. Ham. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks, man. That was You're really welcome. nice. Merry, merry hand. That was a lot more presents than I got you. It's okay. I like chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's honestly, it's perfect. Thanks. Yeah, I'm really excited for... This is disgusting. <laughs> He's putting on his stockings right now. Feet are cold. Why don't you just put on socks? Stockings are socks. Stockings are stockings. Thanks for Al- thanks for Al Boy. Seriously, that's uh, well, I never. It was again another thing that I was like, mm, I'm never gonna buy this, but now now I'm gonna play it for sure. You want you want to explain what that is for us who? Don't oh, know? I'm sorry. Al Boy is a game. Um, it's like it's like an RPG, um, but like a 2D. RPG, kind of like uh, Chrono Trigger or... or uh, Paper Mario. Paper Mario. RPG. Mario RPG. Yeah. So it's um it's really good. It's just... So it's a 2D platformer. So it's like the old school kind of looking Mario. It looks very pixelated. But it's it's new. So it just came out a couple years ago. But it's... Uh, the stories this year, right? No. Oh, yeah. You're right. Yeah. No, you're... It feels like it's a long time ago. Mm. Um, yeah. No. Um, but yeah, the story's supposed to be really good. Um, the character's... He flies, and um, there's a lot an of owl boy. yeah. And there's a lot of puzzles and and action sequences. You he's can do a what them. boy? Owl. He's an owl. Like he owl, has, he has okay. wings. Ooh. Owl boy. So, um, anyways, it's gotten rave reviews, and it's a really good game. Looks uh, looks very good. I'm sure I've it's gonna be great. Things, but, yeah. yeah, I like two D. I like those old school kind of looking games. So anything new that kind of throws a little twist on it, it's fun. Have you played what's that one? The new game that got a lot of hype. Cup. Cuphead. Cuphead. Yeah. Have you played yeah. Cuphead yet? He has it. We were playing it. Yeah, it's fun. It's really good. It's hard. You'd like it. Yeah. I've heard it's like super, super hard. It is. Really it's a lot hard. of fun. We'll play it sometime. Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks, Cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try these one white Charlies later. <laughs> I'll be like... <laughs> Dude, I was thinking about telling Sean, I'm like, I'm going to take a dump. <laughs> like, uh, tell her. Be proud. <laughs> Is that what, why uh, it was you were coming late to the front door? Because you're just enjoying, you just enjoy pooping so much now? Honestly, sometimes I don't even poop. I just wipe. <laughs> Feels good. That's just a waste. So says you. Yes, I, I did. All right. So, Soto, this week's topic is... I have one more thing. Okay. Uh, if you're listening to this episode right now, this is a plug for myself on Twitter. Right, right now, I'm doing a uh, 17 great indie songs countdown of 2017 to the new year. So follow me on Twitter at djames499 if you want to follow that. I'm counting down 17 great indie songs that came out in the year 2017. Okay, follow them. 
I I like listening to your uh, your playlist because I I always listen well, find new music. Me hmm? Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> follow the cut on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I don't have a Twitter. You can make one. It's pretty easy. I'm kind of with Sam. Like we don't. Well, I don't need more hear. things. <laughs> you won't get more things that make me stare at my phone. Yeah. Well, you missed out on an awesome picture of me and my sister and my dog drinking beer. You had your dog drink beer. What you need is you need a friend. Like, all right, so I have Shauna. So she just shows me all the good stuff. What you need is a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a- for reminding me, <laughs> Zeta. <laughs> Are you, is that your guys' way of telling me I'm out of the group? <laughs> it's like, you're done. We're finished here. Merry Christmas. Have you. Yeah. <laughs> that was a parting gift. <laughs> you know what you need now, Sam? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fit that in a stocking. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll burn you the CD. Okay, cool. Of the top 17 songs. It's not top songs. It's just songs that came out this year that I think are good. That people probably didn't hear. All right. That's it for my updates. Now you guys can talk. Okay. I think that's about it for this week's episode. So, uh, Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah. What? It's only 20 minutes. So okay. This week's topic. <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, a way to put it. Uh, so Sam's back. Welcome back, Sam. How was yeah. how is Columbia? Mm, more or less the same. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the same as America? No, the same as the previous time I was in well, Colombia. I've never been to Colombia, so I don't know what that's like. Yeah, but I've described it to you before. If you were paying attention. I wasn't. Um, so Bogota is the capital, and it's like any big city. It's got some like really, really nice parts. Like Think LA. Like the, It's got the Beverly Hills, and then it's got Compton. So in Bogota, right. it's got Rosales, and then it's got um, the Bronx. It's called Yeah, it's called the Bronx. Huh. It's... Like, one of the most dangerous parts in the city. It's, like, well-known for having houses where they dis- dismembered dead bodies. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, it's gotten a lot better in the recent years, but it's still... It's just got some very ugly parts, very... And then other nice parts. The, like, day-to-day, it's just constantly complaining about traffic and the, the bad public transportation system because I don't have a car there. And even if I did, the bad highway system there because mm. it's just all poorly planned. And it's like the typical complaint of every every city. Colombian who lives there. It, yeah. it, anyone who lives in a big city complains about it, but you don't really understand how good, like how well-planned and well-maintained LA is until you go to a shitty city like Bogota. Okay. Like literally, just like on the main highway, there there's giant potholes that people have to stop and wait to merge into the other lane to go around it. Oh my god! Jeez. And like on the like, think the freeway. Yeah. So people are going sixty and sixty, and down then having to cor- stop, oh. not just slowing down, stop so that they can go around it. Oof. And it's that every day. Ugh. That yeah. Sound nice. Um, and it's just they've got like really bad they, they've poorly planned the density issues there they have many des- density issues because it's been poorly planned with housing regulations mm-hmm. so in areas that don't have enough parking or space for people to actually live they have really high buildings and so you have a lot of people living in spaces that don't have enough room for people to actually live like they don't have the schooling available they don't mm. have the the parking space is available. And so it just makes like... Like very, LA. Yeah. LA also has that problem, but LA... Yeah, try like, getting parking for a concert out there. LA is like super spread out, right? Well, you I'm think, thinking of like downtown in Los Angeles. Yeah. Downtown, it's bad, but think like if it was like downtown, but like all the way out to here. Fuck. Yeah. That's Bogota. Jeez. Which is very poorly planned. Uh... Luckily, I, I don't... What does Bogota stand or translate to in English? Uh, Bogota is, was the name of a person. Its original name was like Santa Fe de Bogota. Santa Fe means like Saint Faith. Yeah, I, I was getting there. That's right. I was getting there. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly if it's a person, but I, as far as I know, it, it doesn't like literally translate into any word. Dang. So it's just a name? If you were to guess, assign it a meeting. <laughs> 
Was that the meaning? Yeah. <laughs> 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 mm, I think it's a name. I think yeah, I don't think it stands for anything. Sorry to disappoint you. It's okay. So you're happy to be back? Uh it's like yes and no. There's certain things like I miss my girlfriend. Yeah. And there's Been certain two days. Yeah, it's so. Um, I also like I was living with her. So I get you, man. Like it's just like boyfriend, girlfriend, but like and we weren't like sharing a bed. I had my I was living in technically the maid's quarters. <laughs> Cause like the older houses, like they would have a separate room and shower like at the back of the house, and that's would be where the maid would live. And that's where I'm that's like that the guest chill, actually. That's the guest house. I like, yeah, I like it. It's like I got my own space. Yeah. So it's it's pretty cool actually. It's a good setup for me. That's cool. Um yeah, yeah I can, when you said you were like chilling at her parents' house, I was like, oh, that would be so weird for me at least. No, it's super chill. Yeah, it's it sounds, it it's does. very frustrating sometimes, like when like we're horny. But besides that, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I thought you were going to say something else. So just besides when we're horny. when we're horny, <laughs> like no, I expect like, him to oh, say it's kind of difficult when you're with a group of people. <laughs> yeah, no, the dynamic, the, the, the different dynamics. You know, people tend to get into arguments. No, like I I get along very well with her parents. Um, I get along with her brother very well. Uh, usually I get along with her, but it's just like, <laughs> I get along with everyone really well. Her, not so much. <laughs> but, uh, um, yeah, just like the, that aspect, like the physical aspect of the relationship is very frustrating sometimes. Oh anyway, yeah, I bet. Well, and especially and not awkward. The, not that, especially when you're not in the same room. So go be like teenagers. Yeah, you got to sneak it. Yeah. And so. Well, it's better than nothing. Yeah, it is. Although sometimes it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah. Well, I get you, Sam. Don't worry. I understand that. Um, But yeah, so I got a job like teaching. Teaching what? English. To? Students. <laughs> <laughs> well, they could be young students. They could be seniors. I don't know. I've taught l- literally the entire gambit. I oh. started off teaching kindergarten, and then I taught six, seven, and eighth. And you're boring, Soto. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, Soto. no, I'm sorry. It's been up since six. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, you've been up since six. Do I have to repeat how long? I know, Sam. I know you've been up a long time too. <laughs> I've been up since noon. If we're throwing that out there, <laughs> um, you're arguing. You lose. <laughs> and then the class I'm teaching right now is uh, ninth and tenth. Okay. So literally like... It's more advanced. Higher and higher, which is like more or less what I want. Yeah. Like, because I started with... kindergarten. Spanish? Uh, is it bueno? It's okay. Yeah, I, I can communicate. I'm not like super fluent. I don't think I'll ever be super fluent, like speaking it, because I'm just not that type of person. Mm-hmm. Not like I, Ross. Yeah. Ross, because he's just the type of person, he, he, he like just like how he was in the podcast, he can just bullshit and keep going yeah. and going and going yeah yeah yeah. and so that's the type of person you have to be to really be able to just like pick up a language and just start talking 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 mm-hmm. talking and to the point where it's annoying <laughs> but yeah i'm I'm just so not like that like with you guys i talk a bit more but like outside of my group of friends i don't really even talk that much as it is yeah mm-hmm. so even in english so let alone trying to like learn a new, another language to speak I get that. But for the most part, like, I understand and I can communicate. Well, that's good. So, um... But yeah, back to... So, I've, I'm teaching... Um, How do you say that in Spanish? Uh, Soy en- enseñado. I believe him. <laughs> um, what was your favorite group to teach? Ninth of? and tenth. Ninth and tenth? Yeah, the older students are the best. Just because they're it's, wanting uh, to a learn? A part of it's because of the... Um, the school that I'm teaching, like I went from like it, they're all private schools, but I went from like kind of a lower end private school to now it's like one of the nicest. It's I think number nine of all schools in Colombia. Hmm. So it's very good. Number nueve. Cool. And, um, <laughs> number, oh, a message. number nueve. Is it the, the numero nueve? Numero. Yeah. Oh, Ephraim messaged me. He sent me a link. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the students are just like, the school is much better, so you get way better resources. Um, and then the students are much better, like they're better behaved, they're more attentive. 
Yeah. And I like teaching older students because you can kind of talk about more complicated issues. Like kindergarten's fun because it's the little kids, like you're just playing with little kids. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, it's, phrase that. it can be very, <laughs> you're just. Uh, uh, you're, you're teaching little kids. <laughs> I don't, I don't think there's another way to say that. Yeah. You're, you're uh, interacting. Yeah. You're interacting with, with little kids. Uh, uh, I still don't like it. <laughs> what way do we say it to go to? You're sculpting younger minds. No, I'm uh, not. You're sculpting. You're teaching younger kids. I don't know. Kindergarten's like your babies. But basically. the point is that I'm not teaching. Yeah, I'm just like we're playing games. We're playing soccer. We're in the the park, just messing around. He's already broken his fidget spinner. <laughs> you're developing their minds. But you're not. <laughs> That's oh. the point. Oh, you're, you're not you're teaching. Pre, you're in pre 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 production. <laughs> uh, pre production. <laughs> um. <laughs> But it can it gets very very boring because you're not like doing anything complicated. You're not actually teaching them. I love playing things. games. You're just like all the lessons are just super repetitive, and they're almost all songs. And it's just like another another goddamn song. Yeah, I'm kind of <laughs> really. You, yeah. you get that bad about yeah. a song? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they're just. Have like you ever super, heard a kid's song? They're super simple. They're super repetitive. They're. And they just like get they're super poppy, so they get stuck in your head. Mm. Mm. And so, like throughout the rest of the day, you're like uh, just like you accident, you just find yourself singing it to yourself, and you're just like, "That's really weird." I hate it. You sound well, like a, you yeah, guys better person. be prepared for uh, it's a Christmas episode. That's all I'm saying. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't play anymore. <laughs> but yeah, so when you get to the older, more and more advanced students. And especially because they're English, it's a higher end school, so their English is a lot better. Yeah. Um, like you can actually like just kind of have real more interactive discussions. Mm. Um, and bef- like I still have to teach grammar, but they actually have books that they have to read. And I love reading, so like it's like let's just read these books and talk about them. What it's do like, they What do they call you while you're like? Are they like Mister Booker? Are they like what Senor are they? Booker? Senor. No. What do they say? Um, Sam at oh. the Sam. <laughs> they, yeah, they they call it, the little kids called me uh, Samuel. Yeah. Uh, the sixth and seventh and eighth graders called me Mister. Yeah. And then ninth and tenth they called me Sam or Sammy. Sammy. You take the hand. Yeah. You can be Sam Ham. I was just curious because, like, I wonder if like a lot of them are like like I don't know because I just never. I guess we're at that age now where we could we teachers. are Mr. Booker yeah, yeah. Mr. So- like it's just weird and the like the type of school it is they're much more relaxed on on that type of interaction Mr. Booker was my father <laughs> <laughs> he, he's still alive he is my father um <laughs> Mr. Yeah, I, Booker is I, my father I, I told them some some of them call me Booker too but I told them like you guys can call me whatever I don't I don't care. I'm not one of those per- people who cares about that type of thing. Yeah. So yeah, they I, like all the different types of names that Sam Booker c- can be combined with. Sammy? Like one, so, one of the things Sammy B? they don't really shorten. Like uh, a lot of my English students, they do, but they don't really shorten it typically to Sammy. They shorten it to Samu. Samu. Yeah. Like Shamu. Yeah. Samu. 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 So yeah, a lot of a lot of uh like the staff. The Spanish-speaking staff call me Samu. Hmm. That, that actually sounds kind of cool. Uh, what sounds a, like a D&D any, character. Any other question? No. no yeah, so really. the day-to-day, like the hardest part, the part, the reason I would never be able to live, like want to live there for the rest of my life, especially com- just comparing the short time of like how easy it is to get around LA in comparison, mm-hmm. um, is the transportation. Yeah. They have more public transportation, but it's just like much, much worse, much, much worse quality. So I have to get up. Uh, the school is outside of the city. So I have to get up every day at five Ooh. just to do. It's like a, a two hour bus ride to oh my the. Uh, it's like an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes. But with traffic and there's always traffic, it can be in up to like two hours. Two hours. Two hours. Plenty of to, time to catch up on our podcast. To the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I sleep. <laughs> no, I don't blame you. Do you really? <laughs> yeah. I, every morning, I, I get on the bus. And I sleep. What about on the way back? On the way back, I wish I could sleep 
And sometimes I, I take like small cat naps, but uh, I probably just read. No, I can't read on buses. What do you do? Nothing. He I sleeps. <laughs> I sleep. On the way back. On the oh, way back, um, I sleep. Sometimes he tries to sleep. I try to sleep. Sometimes I chat with people. But yeah, I can't read because I get sick. You listen to our podcast. You listen to my top 17 songs of 20. I don't have data. I don't have a phone with data. Yeah. I need, I, like when I go back, I'm going to get it like a data plan though. You should. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. I, I got it. I'll, I'll um, burn you my playlist. But yeah, so, that, so it's literally sometimes like just three hours of my day will be just on a bus on a bus yeah, that sounds horrible sounds pretty bad so i it, and these it, books. it'll be like a 12 hour day like i leave at 5 30 get home at 5 30 mm. so 12 hours every day well it's good to have you back sam <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, after that no <laughs> yeah, it's, no it, it's good to be back so even though like it's super necessary to have a car to do anything like the roads, the sidewalks. Yeah. Even the buses like are just much, much better. I'd never taken a bus in the US before. Really? Until today. I have. Really? Yeah. It's funny. I've no, taken... I've taken school buses. Oh, okay. But just not like any public like a public transportation. It's yet. fine. I mean yeah. I I did it when I went to college for a little bit when my didn't have my car yet. Yeah. I took a couple buses here. Uh um... didn't I thought I took you to college. Yeah, like, but you would take me home usually. Oh. Yeah, sometimes you would take me, but... I thought you got a ride with your dad because he worked there. Yeah, well, there was days that he that he would, but there was other days where I didn't start till like, later, and I was just like, I'm not going to go at 6 in the morning, Dad, <laughs> or yeah, whatever he yeah. went. I'm going to wait five hours for my <laughs> 1 o'clock class. <laughs> I've lived in California my whole life, but I've taken the most buses in Milwaukee. Yeah. Milwaukee? Yeah, really? they got a really good transportation system. Out of like all places? Transit. Yeah. Out of all places, Milwaukee? Well, I didn't have a car there. Isn't there a lot of open land? Like, it's a city. It's a city. Oh, is it? Yeah, Milwaukee, Milwaukee is, a city. is a city. No, I know, but I, I just didn't realize it was that big of a... No, Milwaukee's dope. Yeah? Yeah, it's super cool. That's where I met Solo. I need to, tra- I I need to travel addicts. more, obviously, because I don't... Yeah, well, really cool. I literally, market. this is like my radius of my knowledge, <laughs> like everything in this 50 no, mile radius. They got like, uh, it's right pretty close to the Great Lakes. Like, there's like beaches in Milwaukee. And yeah. Like rivers and stuff, riverside breweries and shit. It's really cool. I took a picture with the bronze fawns. Okay, cool. Because that's where Happy Days was filmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah, the fawns. Yeah, yeah the fawns was there. That's cool. Fawns, right, on, right on the water. Awesome. I love Milwaukee. Hmm. I'll go back. That's cool. I like staying here, guys. So. Yeah, the only... I, I've taken lots of buses, like, but it's always been in Latin America. Oh, uh, okay. Like, what do you call them? Costa Rica, I had to take every day to work. Co- Colombia, every day, take a bus. What'd you say? How do you say bus in Spanish? Bus. That's boring. Bus. Mm-hmm. That sounds... I liked it better how Sam said it. Oh, sorry. It sounded good in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> you said it r- more Russian. Yeah, that's what I kind of said it. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound right. Well, some bush. Bush. <laughs> you want vodka. some bush? So it sounds like, <laughs> sounds like you said bush. I want some bush. Oh, don't we all? <laughs> no. yes. I want to feel like I'm flossing when I'm going down on a girl. Hey, man, teach their own. You said that earlier. Yeah. I did. You take care of two things at once. <laughs> <laughs> When you put it that way, I still don't want to do it. <laughs> I just think it's efficient. You could floss at the same time as you're... Oh, God. Because sometimes you're down there and it's just boring. You're like, ah, still? Like, come on. think, get, get, get in the game. What are you even doing get, up there? Get in the game is what yeah. you say. Get in the game, yeah. damn it. <laughs> are you just planning your grocery list up there? Why is it taking so long? Well, that's because you're not doing your job, clearly. No, no. It's, no. I, I firmly believe it's most of the time it's the girl. Like she, her mind somewhere else. Because so much of the girl, the guy. Yeah, put the blame on the woman. No, because seriously, for the guy, it's just like an exterior thing. You're just like, all right, if you do the motion enough, even if he's not horny, like it'll happen. For girls, it's all like mental. Girls, yes, so, it is more mental, but consider that for a moment that maybe you're just not good at it. Well, it's you guys not, aren't even consi- you guys are just thinking inside the box here, all right? Think so outside the box. No, that's what I'm talking about. Women I was, have... I'm not putting my tongue in the vagina. Oh no, I'm not talking about the box, literally the box. I'm talking about <laughs> just in terms of thinking. <laughs> not, not talking about the box, Dakota. No, what I'm saying is women have multiple orgasms. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe they're just lying. No, you can feel when they have an orgasm. Yeah, but 
trust me, I know. Because I thought, well, it's taking so damn long. She was lying, and she was on her like third one by the so, time I was going. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> you're saying she's not faking her or- orgasm? She's faking her not, not having yes. orgasm? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, and we think, just got sex in the title. Think about that, all right? Maybe that's what's happening. You don't even realize she, it. She, she's liking it more than you know. Yeah, exactly. I think she just tells you that to make you feel better about Trust me. She'll she'll swear on the bible no but i i honestly i believe if a girl's not enjoying it it's because like her head is somewhere else that's, i think a that's lot definitely of it, possible oh, yeah well. like if she doesn't want it if, yeah she's not if, gonna enjoy it i mean i, I don't know maybe it's just because of the circumstances Cause I'm women bit. are insane well no I, women yes. are complicated no they're insane yeah a little bit both Everyone, everyone's, <laughs> everyone's a little bit insane <laughs> women are more insane women are just more passionate lee insane I disagree. That's why you're single. I'm sorry. That, that, that cut, was that, me. Yeah, that, that, that was me. That <laughs> cut too deep. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, this is he's exactly like, why I drink. <laughs> uh, I, oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, no, but really, I, I do, I, I do think that like women. Well, I think it's definitely. They a, definitely need it's to be a, in the right frame. It's a mental thing. Yeah. No, but you you just have to emotionally warm them up. Like men, it's like I'm stressed. <laughs> I need to come. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like something. For something women, stupid. you have to like set the mood, yeah. and it has to be like a big old thing. There has to be like yeah. a ceremony. It doesn't have to be a big old ceremony. Thing. You just have to put fucking <laughs> effort into <laughs> it. <laughs> every time, Dakota. Yes, every, every time. time. Make her feel special. She she make just, her feel like and, a fucking woman. She, she needs to get her head in the game. All right. Doesn't always have no, to be you need to get fireworks head. and fucking flowers. No, man. That's how you get her head in the game. You need to get your head into no, her game. No, no. You know, as a married man, sometimes you do not need anything. You just do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that's, that was one of my favorite. Soda, sometimes that was one of my favorite pseudo comments. <laughs> <laughs> you just do. It. <laughs> like do you, do you just like put your penis <laughs> oh yeah that sometimes yeah one. sometimes you're just like hey babe and she's like no I'm like come on I'm like no I'm like come on <laughs> <laughs> and then by the third time Four you just by so yeah you just come you just on. break her down <laughs> you just completely you completely undid the she entire just, notion of no just, means no girls like playing girls like playing not all girls but some girls like playing hard to get so you know and the way you overcome that is come on come on come, come on. on come on no no you do like come on and you kind of like grow up a little you're like oh come on but they're your wife so they can't say anything so you're just like <laughs> 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 I like where this is going. I hate all of this. <laughs> hey, all right. Are we? Are we? Uh, just to be are fair. Are we about to talk, start just, talking about rape and be, consent? <laughs> no, no. When you're famous, they just let you do it. No, When's your wife? They can't say no. No, just to be fair, Fuck. it's on the other end, too, where Shauna's like, I'll be just kind of walking by, and she'll just like slap my dick, and I'm like, what the heck? What, what's going on here? It's It happens, all right? If she... It's mutually consented at this point. I, I, I don't. I don't force myself. If she's like, no, David, like, no. But you, there's a difference where she's like, where she's like, other. she's like, stop it, and you're like, come on, and she's like, stop. You know, yeah, you know, right there, you're like, I'm in. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys you're in before you're other. even in. <laughs> I know what to do. Yeah, yeah. No, I. It's, all right. So let's clear the air or clear that up. Yeah, I. If she's giving me a harsh no, like then yeah, obviously I'm so. Not but so, are you saying that no doesn't always mean no? Yeah, like if it's a tease or playful uh-huh. kind of way, yeah. Like not in a. Uh, uh, well, that's just the way your wife. That's is. that's with my wife. I can't. Yeah, I'm not saying all women are that way. I mean, no means no. When no means no. Period. Yeah. But except for when it doesn't. No. Well, yes. <laughs> Soto knows Shauna. And when she says no, sometimes it's because she's playing with them. Exactly. But if you don't know the person that way, no, definitely. So, so means no. I guess Shauna wants to be, uh, uh, you know, like she's at that, like she wants to be chased, you know, wanted. So like she wants to, like she wants me to make an effort, you know, not just like she just gives it up. I gotta like I gotta make a little effort. And you make that effort by saying, "Come on, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come that's on. not effort. 
<laughs> no, that, that's just the very. Was the last that's, time you bought Shauna flowers. I just, actually two weeks ago, I just bought her flowers. Good on you. Yeah. So when was I the do, last time you bought Alejandra flowers? Uh, maybe like uh, too long. Too long. If you I'm to sure he's bought her recently. I can't. What, what was the last time? Um, the last time I'm remembering right now is <laughs> like four months ago. But I think there's got to be one like maybe a month or two ago. But I can't remember what for. I bought her some flowers, but I can't remember why. Soto, tomorrow, buy your wife some flowers. And she'll hear this on the episode because it'll post after Sunday. I buy her flowers all the time. Do flowers are expensive, them. man. I buy her all, stuff flowers all the time. You want to borrow one of my flowers? You can keep it. No, I mean, Shauna, see, here's the thing. Shauna likes gifts for sure, but her thing is time. Like, if I'm not spending enough time, all the gifts mean nothing. So, That's true. Um, my, for my girlfriends, it's things things materialism well, for she's practically a communist but she <laughs> loves things i have some more fidget spinners if you want <laughs> you just no, keep okay. giving your, your girlfriend fidget spinners <laughs> fidget, like, yeah like, are you getting angry come on yeah. and then she's like, she's like handing them to her spin to win it's like all right if it lands this way <laughs> um i think you I, love that fidget spinner you haven't stopped yeah man why not it's like christmas present <laughs> Uh, no, Are you yes, telling me to no, put it down? No, it's it's fine. It's just like <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna be good, that. Good present, to go to. It was good a joke present. gift. Good present. Have you guys have never seen me with like a pen or anything? I'm yeah. always I'm always holding something usually when we're recording. No, I, I never noticed. I've never, never I think because that makes that. a sound. That does it. I mean, I can hear it from here. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> it, I can't hear it in the headphones. It'll get rid of it. No, it's fine. It's fine. It, um. I, I just thought it was going to be a joke gift. I'm glad you actually really, really like it. I just didn't think you were going to like no, it. No, I'm not lying. Like, I saw the Batman one, and I'm like, I'm not going to spend money on that. But now that you got it for but me, I'm like, why not? <laughs> so, no. Um, no. Uh, yes, women are complicated. Every woman has their own way of uh, feeling special and desired. And um, the way to her <laughs> nether regions is different. So, for every person, I think. Yeah, that's It's true. In- individual thing so i know how i've been with shauna for a long time i kind of know it how she is so um i don't want now that this now that you're saying that she's gonna change it up on you she's gonna change the formula no no shauna change the formula no she's not oh she does I mean, do it change the formula i'm sure i'll figure it, it out sweat. i'm just gonna keep doing my same thing yeah <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> why not come on <laughs> You don't have to do nothing. I'm telling you guys, yeah. if you just have a lazy Sunday or something, I'm just like, why not? Just like, it's, it's why not? It's 10 in the morning. Let's do it. And it works. All right. Well, Sam, is glad you're back. Yeah. I, I'm sure we'll do a couple more podcasts while I'm here. I'm yeah, hoping. Yeah, got to do Christmas game. Christmas yeah. game. And then maybe in the weekend, we'll do like another yeah. podcast, New Year's podcast. Yeah. Like a year in review or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, just for everyone at home. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on. That's <laughs> the name of Come on. Sex in the time. Why not? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm leaving that in there. Like, yeah. You know, yeah she says, no, she wants it. <laughs> no. Just, no. <laughs> um, you say no, but your body's telling me yes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just so for our listeners, anyone out there, for ourselves, um, yeah, next week uh, we have a Christmas show. It's going to be fun. Just It's a game and everything. We're going to be doing something a little different. I'm um, hosting it or I'm VMing it, I guess. It's not just Dungeons you're, you're and Dragons. You're GMing. GMing it. Game Master. GMing it. So um, look forward to it. It's going to be fun. A little uh, flavor of what we want to do with the... Yeah. Do we ever say what the title of the game podcast no, is? No, not yet. Well, I feel like we should keep that. Well, I was gonna now. say it right now. Under mind, wraps. I won't say it. We'll surprise. We'll do a surprise when it's ready. Troll, troll. <laughs> okay. I don't. I didn't hear that very well, so that's good I heard, enough. I heard trop trop. <laughs> so. <I> have it. <laughs> so yeah, look forward to that co- podcast. It's gonna be great. I think. Uh, I think you guys will. I think people, including ourselves, will be excited. Um, I'm excited for it. Yeah, right now. it'll be fun. Um, all right. Uh, do you guys have anything else? Listen to my seventeen songs of twenty seventeen. Cool. As much as I complain about women and I think they're insane, 
I do. I do love them. I think they're beautiful. Why are you staring at me like that? I think no. I just I think I was sorry. I kind of so, I kind of was I was thinking while you were saying. I was like I think I was objectifying. Like, no, I every, don't think it's objectifying. I said saying I, a woman's beautiful. I love. Well, I don't. I don't know. I I'm not, I don't. I think say they're that. insane, but they're beautiful. I can at least put my dick in them. That's not what I said. He, yeah, he I did not it. say that. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time, Sam. No, I agree, yeah. Sam. They are. Um, like I always tell Shauna, she's crazy, and she is. Yeah, but beautiful. One yeah. of one of my favorite lines in any movie is from Moonrise Kingdom, which is like, "I love you, but you have no idea what you're talking about." <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> All right, Sam, why don't you close this out? You close it out. Okay, fine. Bull slip. Yeah. I didn't like that one. Sam, how would you close it? Uh, like, knock over the table. That was worse. Okay, good. Because I didn't want to close it out. Bull slip. <laughs> <laughs>